Hey everyone, so I just wanted to show you something very, very satisfying, I think, in car modeling. And if you want to learn the full step-by-step -step process of modeling a Porsche 911 from scratch, I've created a brand new course that teaches you industry standard techniques with easy to use plasticity tools. You will master everything from creating precise curves to producing high quality complex surfaces and blending seamless transitions, all broken down into simple steps. So if if you're ready to use plasticity in incredible, never before seen ways, check out first link in the description for all of the details. And now let's dive in into our today's video. So right now you see we have this Porsche and it's super boxy, right? Because yeah, that's the blockout. And you see everything is uh, quad based. So just uh, to practice, to work only with lofts and uh, man, it's so challenging, but um, I learned so, so much about surfacing and stuff. But yeah, what I want to sh uh, show you is now how to blend this kind of yeah curves here at the booty. And I don't know, it's in my opinion, so definitely by far the Porsche 911 is the most beautiful car in this world. Um, so yeah, if you don't take like McLaren into consideration, but yeah, so you see, it's, I don't know, it's just got like beautiful design and, and surface transition, right? And man, it's so hard. And I see people say, oh, Porsche is boring. Porsche looks so simple. I need details, details, details. Uh, okay. So we have those pieces, right? You see, it, it looks pretty okay. Just this piece was super challenging. But yeah, anyway... So we want to blend this surfaces with those surfaces and we will take this edge here and duplicate and rebuild it. And you see, I always teach this pipe method in my other tutorials and my courses. And some people say, uh, why not just manual of, uh, why not just automatic fill it? It takes so much time and this pipe is, I don't know, it's nonsense and stuff. People write me, you know, it's, you can use one technique for many, many different purposes. And especially with car modeling, basically everything that what I've ever learned comes now into this thing and it, it skyrockets even to the moon. So yeah, because now we will take this and pipe it and we will give it a nice juicy pipe here and we will extend it. So you see, it's exactly the same technique that I show you also in my other courses about product design, you know, and this is always what I tell you. It's not, I'm just teaching you random techniques that I picked up from some beginners. No, I learn from industry experts, from the best, from the best. I watch all the videos. I take all of the professional courses and try to translate and apply that to plasticity. And this is like the industry standard to do pipe even with simpler models like these here on my courses. But you see with cars, it's exactly the same process. So now we will take this and just Boolean this thing away. And let me go maybe in this view. And by the way, oh, it's also like this matte cap from Elias is so beautiful. And also here and we will pipe that away. And here we have now this situation. And you see now, we see why we did this block out with this kind of direction and this kind of direction and, and here and here and here and here, because now we've piped everything away here. So this is now away, right? And now what's interesting here, this curve, which are left, you see, it goes like this direction and this direction. So now we can give it here one nice curve. O of course, it takes massive amount of ex uh, practice. And yeah, I don't know. You can literally spend 30 minutes just on perfecting this little piece, you know, and there's so much more on, on a car. But now let's just uh, bridge those and 
you see, so this curve, I don't really like it, but yeah, let's just, uh, because I don't want too, too, too long here. But then we can start to love this. And you see, it's very important. So you see all around, we have very good um, surface transition. So I don't know, it's I'm working already the third day on that, like nonstop. But for now, that's okay but everything else looks very good because then if we start to loft those guys and squeeze that in, you see it's absolutely, of course, not perfect. But if we go even in, in this mode, you see, oh my God, we get, ve look, it's, I know it's not class eight, but this looks very, very good. And I mean, from the distance, when you render that, you will not see anything like that. And then you join that and then we do the same here. And always when I blend, I always work with this mode because yeah, this is like the truth, right? <laughs> and it, it is not lying. And you see, sometimes G1 is fine. Sometimes G2, because look here, man, this is, I love, I don't know, it's so much fun, right? And man, like this car thing, I learned so much because look, G1, it should be, how's it called? Like a tangent, but it's not right because uh, I mean, it's tangent, but we have not a nice surface, but bam, we give it G2 and then it's instantly so much better. But in other examples, you see, so here, if we give G2, it, it doesn't work. So it just breaks and yeah, here it's also not perfect, so I have to fix it later, but, but, okay, we have to do something because sometimes we can also maybe just try to bridge those guys first and go the other way around. So let's try what result. And I think, yeah, no, it does not work this way. So we have to, and you see, like it's a lot of tweaking, but okay. So let's see what we got here. It's, it's fine, but yeah, because the thing is, you see also that here at the top we have, okay, it's hard to see with the lighting, but here to the top, you see, we have a little bit kind of a reflection edge stuff on going here. But <laughs> the thing is as well, so, I will not do this in this tutorial here or like showcase or whatever this is, because here in the second, I will, uh, of course, also, so rebuild that guy and give here also a pipe. And then I will do the same process between those surfaces here and this surface, right? So everything here will be again deleted, but we first have to create that. So again, let's close this surface and see what we will get here. So let's zebra that. And yeah, that doesn't work here at all. So I have to add here boundary edge. So I will just bridge that. And then let's see maybe what we get this direction and this direction. And oh, yeah, that looks that looks fine here. Yeah, so especially here. And no, it does not look good. Okay, this looks very good. So G1 and G1 and look, it's perfectly connected. Let's join that. And yeah, wow, that looks really, oh man, I think this surface is the best one. Yeah, so you see, so don't look at the back, right? So that's everything in the block. So you see again, this is obviously just working with the loft and of course, this uh, workflow is also like an alias workflow. So I don't even know if we can really do it in plasticity, but I, I think we can learn a lot by that uh, from that because of course, so if we check this surface, right, of course, it would be much better to use uh, XNERP here and look just a quad sided thing. And then let's see what we get. And then you see, it's just, <clears throat> much, much better. So also let's uh, X snap this guy here. And <clears throat> man, look guys, I don't know. This looks really cool, I think. Yeah, that looks 
nice and clean. And yeah, this is the next step here. And I see you on the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.